Hello. In this presentation, we will enter a reversing entry for an adjusting entry that was made for unearned revenue within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been working along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We're going to be talking about reversing entries, specifically a reversing entry having to do with an entry made to unearned revenue, and in so doing, talking a bit about what reversing entries are, why they would be needed, and what unearned revenue is and why it is needed. If you have the backup to this point, you can restore that by going to the file and restore the backup. We're going to have the open windows open over here. So you're going to go to view and open windows in order to open the open windows. We currently only have the home tab open. To open the home tab, you go to the company and home page. We're going to be reversing an un earned revenue journal entry that was made as an adjusting process. In order to understand what that is, we're going to first go to the balance sheet and see where the unearned revenue has been entered. So we will go to reports up top. We're going to go to company and financial and scroll down to the balance sheet. We're going to change the dates up here in the date ranges to the range we are on, which is 2021. And say OK. Here is our information. The journal entry that we are looking at is in the liability section where we have this unearned revenue of $300. What we have done is increased the liability of $300 and taken it out of the receivable account. So the other side of this transaction is up here in the accounts receivable. If we double click on that. We see the 300 here, the other side going to unearned revenue, double clicking on that. Here's the entry that we made in order to do that. If we close this out, close this out, back to the balance sheet. One more report to see what we have done and why we have done it. We're going to go to reports up top. We're going to go to customers and receivables and scroll down to the customer balance detail. Going all to the bottom of this report, all the way to the bottom, we see the string guitars and we see this payment of the $300. That $300 wasn't being applied to anything and our journal entry here then created a positive $300 to net that out, out to zero. In essence, we took this negative amount, increased the total accounts receivable by it, and then transferred the balance to a liability unearned revenue. Why? Because this $300 represents a payment from string guitars as a deposit on a guitar they have not yet received. And within QuickBooks, it's best for us to enter that as a payment within the customer section so that when we later on create an invoice, it will match it up to that invoice. However, for accrual accounting, it's not exactly right because it creates a negative receivable, meaning it reduces the receivable at this point when really it should be increasing a liability that liability unearned revenue so at the end of each month we want to fix that we want to fix that and show it properly when we report the financial statements therefore we increased the uh, accounts receivable by that 300 bringing that balance for string guitar string music down to zero and then we put it into the liability that works for the financial statements that makes our financial statements correct meaning it reports the correct liability and it reports the correct uh, accounts receivable. However, we this system works well for QuickBooks. So what we want to do now is after the date that we make the financial statements, we want to reverse this entry that we just made and go back to the system that, that QuickBooks is using for the normal day-to-day -day process so that when we do eventually make the invoice to tie out to this payment, it will tie out properly. So now that we have everything correct, if we go back to the balance sheet, on the balance sheet as of uh, 228 meaning scrolling down we have this 300 dollars balance here as of that date as of the first date of the next month we're going to go ahead and reverse that item uh, so that we're back to where we were before that so that quickbooks can run the way quickbooks wants to run so we're going to make a journal entry uh, in essence that will reverse this transaction it's a reversing entry for the unearned revenue and normally to do that, we would go to customers at the top and we, we would go, I'm sorry, we would go to company at the top and make journal entry 
and we'd have to reduce the unearned revenue. Uh, we would do that with it's a credit balance account. So we would do that with a debit and then we would credit the accounts receivable. However, we're going to try to do that. We will do this without doing debits and credits. Therefore, we're going to choose this account unearned revenue within the register and use the registers to record this adjusting entry. Let's do that. We're going to go to banking up top. We're going to go down to use register. We're going to choose not the checking account, but scrolling down to the register we would like to use, which is the liability register. And we will go to the unearned revenue, unearned revenue and OK. So here is the transaction we had prior as of the end of the month. We are going to make this as of 030121, the first day of the next month. And we're going to do the opposite thing to it. So last time we increased this account, this time we're going to decrease this account and reverse this out. The other account will be accounts receivable. Accounts receivables, the other side of this transaction. And note that whenever we put something to account, accounts receivable, we will need a customer. We don't have a customer field here, but if we select the split item, then we have a customer field. And remember that customer was string music, I believe. We could we could type that in there. String music tab. And there it is. So there's the 300 to string music. And we're going to go ahead and record that. And in essence, this will create a journal entry, meaning we're going to do this to this account, the unearned revenue. And then QuickBooks is going to say, okay, the other account's going to be accounts receivable. So QuickBooks is going to do what it needs to do here and apply the other side, the other debit or credit to the other side. And we just need to go in and see if it does what we expect it to do then, what we want it to do, and see if we went the correct way with this transaction. What do we want it to do? We would like to see the unearned revenue go to zero as of 3-1. And as of that same date, we would like to see the accounts receivable related to string guitar go back to where it was, meaning we owe string guitar having a negative receivable. Let's see if that happens. If we go to the balance sheet up top, back in the open window section, Scroll down to the liabilities. We still see this unearned revenue here because we're still at the same date range. But if we make the date range change, in essence, if we go back up to the customized report and change this end date to the next month, 033121, and then, and then close this back out, we can then see that it goes away. Why? Because if we go back to the open windows, it's now at a zero balance and therefore not showing up on the financial statements going back to the balance sheet if we scroll up to the accounts receivable if we double click on that activity and scroll down we see that uh, we have the 300 here and we have the 300 there this 300 being our adjusting entry and this 300 being the reversal of that adjusting entry uh, making us get back to where we originally were in order to see more context of that we can go to the customer balance uh, detail over here scrolling down to that customer we see that here is the payment here's us making it correct reducing that payment back down to zero as of the end of the, of the month the financial statement date and then here's us putting us back to that original negative 300 that string music now owes us back to the original point we were at prior to the adjustment.